Hello, welcome back after the summer break. I'm Victoria Pateman. Today I'm pleased to welcome Monica Defend, head of the Amundi Investment Institute, here to share with us her market insights. Hello, Monica. Hello, Victoria. Could you begin by giving us your take on market movements over the summer? The trend on world stock markets has been generally positive over the past two months, but we did see them take a sudden tumble early August. Since then, markets have recovered on the back of expectations of resilient US economic growth and interest rate cuts by leading central banks. Japan was the exception, declining sharply in the quarter so far following the Bank of Japan's surprise rate hike end of July. In your view, what caused this market setback in August? Well, the turmoil in Japan was responsible in part. But we have been saying for some time now that select market segments are expensive. The trigger for this sudden move was a combination of these excessive valuations with weaker than expected corporate earnings in US tech, as well as concerns about US economic growth. So on growth more generally, how does the outlook seem? Well, Although we expect US growth to slow mildly, in line with a soft landing narrative, we think a recession is unlikely. We will have to keep a close eye on household consumption and the labor market, for which the latest data appears to be weaker than expected. In Europe, the situation is very different. Its economies are recovering, but there will be divergences between countries. At the start of the year, they were bought by exports, but the driving force behind world trade is now in question. As for domestic demand, it should gradually pick up, but it's still very weak, particularly in Germany. Softening economic growth is also good for bringing down inflation. In the overall market, it is declining, falling sharply in the United States, but proving a little bit more resilient in Europe, particularly in the service sector. That said, wage growth in Europe is slowing, which should put the brakes on inflation. With inflation continuing to decline, does that mean that we can expect a shift in the focus of central banks? In Europe, the ECB and Bank of England have already started easing their policy. We expect this to continue. Meanwhile, falling US inflation should allow the US Federal Reserve to follow suit, starting its rate cut cycle in September, as pre-announced by Fed Chair Powell at the recent Jackson Hole Symposium. The Bank of Japan remains the exception having raised its rates to tame inflation. But, given the strong impact of their recent move, we believe it will likely wait until next year before hiking again. And in the political calendar, we have notably the US elections coming up, 5th of November. What impact might those have? The nomination of Vice President Kamala Harris has energized the Democratic Party and tightened the presidential race. We expect this will add to market uncertainty as we enter autumn. Given this backdrop, what are your main market convictions? In fixed income, we believe that an economic slowdown and interest rate cuts will support government bonds. But after the recent rally, we will have a flexible approach. Corporate credit offers the potential for interesting income. Here we favor businesses with low levels of debt and rate cuts in the United States also paint a positive picture for emerging market bonds. In equities, we think the rally we saw in United States mega caps in the first half of the year will now broaden to segments so far left behind, such as small caps, Europe and emerging markets, South Korea and India in particular, where earnings and economic growth are supportive. But we remain cautious in areas of excessive euphoria, such as the US technological sector. Finally, despite its historically high price, we believe that gold remains a safe haven and a good diversification tool. Overall, we don't expect very directional markets and think this is a time to go back to the basics, assess fundamentals and look for opportunities without being carried away by excessive exuberance. Monica, thank you very much for sharing your views with us today. My pleasure. And thank you all for tuning in. We hope you've enjoyed this special edition and we'll see you next month.